Punavala, the founder of Lila Punavala Foundation, to come and say a few words about her journey. Hello, good afternoon. I'm sure all of you are wanting to go for lunch. So I will be very, very brief because I have another session afterwards. Uh, yeah, I'm told that I'm the founder director of Lila Punawala Foundation, but this came much, much later in my life. I started my life as a refugee when I came into this country uh, way back in 1947. And coming up the way we did, it was, it was uh, worth the journey. And uh, I, I became the first woman mechanical engineer. And uh, yeah, I think I became an engineer where most of you might not have been born also. It was in 1967, way back, when engineering itself was not considered to be a woman's domain. And I wanted to do not only engineering, but a mechanical engineering which was down to shop floor working. But I enjoyed that journey and uh, uh, I joined a company which was a multinational Swedish company, Alpha Laval, as an apprentice. And I'm very pleased to tell you that I was given the opportunity to work and to prove myself and rose from an apprentice to become the CMD of that company within less than 20 years. So uh, it, it's, it's been a nice journey and uh, when, of course, when I was growing up to be an engineer, as I told you, I came in as a refugee and uh, I definitely needed help, financial help to go, go through this education. And I suppose behind in my mind must always have been a point that somebody helped me to make it. So I, if I have the possibility, I should also do something for the society. And I suppose it must be this that made me want to start this foundation, which I started 22 years ago. I started the foundation supporting 20 girls for post-graduation because I didn't get the chance to do post-graduation. I had to start to work because we needed the money. So I started with 20 girls in 1996, and I'm very happy to tell you that last year, we gave 1,360 girls scholarships. Today I work with 19 schools and uh, I've got undergraduate program, I've got post-graduation program and I've got totally 6,000 girls in my family. And this has been a much more rewarding than the job that I did as managing director. Because that was a professional job, this too is professional, but this gives you the joy of seeing happiness in others' eyes and in their life. It's lovely to be called by the girls mom. They call me mom because, I mean, they are so young, they are so small. They call me mom and they call my husband dad. And it's a beautiful big family. It's not about giving them money alone. It's mentoring them, guiding them, trying to make them make their life. And that is what gives you joy. When I get a phone call and a girl tells me, mom, you know I got placed and I started with a package of five, six lakhs of rupees. That brings joy to me. And that joy cannot be, you know, explained. It is to be felt. The joy of giving is to be felt and not talked about. And I think all women, not only women, men and women, should try, that try to do whatever little you can in your life for somebody else to make their life better, to bring joy and happiness into their life. And for women, I would like to say that there's no end to us being able to achieve what we want to achieve. Just have confidence in yourself. Have the will that I want to do it, not I have to do it. If you have to do it, it will never work. Get up in the morning and say, I want to do this and I will do it. And you will do it. With these few words, I once again thank Harbin for uh, persuading me to come to Delhi. When she phoned me up, I told her, is it really worth for me to come all the way for a day in Pune, from Pune here? She said, Leela, please come. I tell you, it's going to be a beautiful function. And I think you didn't describe it too well. <laughs> it is much better than what she said. I never expected so many international people here, so many other colleagues from our own country to meet them, to see them, and it's so very well organized. Congratulations to you, Harbin. Thank you.
Thank you so much, Leela Ji. Uh, please attend her master class today evening at 4.45 p.m. And it's very provocatively titled, Women Should Not Be Martyrs. Thank you, Leela Ji.